morning. Today I'm going to show you the progress of my zucchini plant. Now there are some mistakes that I have made, which is how we learn. So I'm going to show you what those are and it's going to help me also know what to do next. This is the very first zucchini plant that I transplanted and it's quite large. That's one of the things that I didn't expect about the zucchini plant. And I put these supports and they're not doing much work because I didn't move the plant in the center like it's supposed to be and I also left two seedlings which are now um, extremely overcrowded in one 20 gallon smart pot. So I'm going to show you the one that has the most growth and the one that's taking over and what it's doing. Okay, so that is one zucchini plant. This is a second. That is much smaller than this one. And you see how it kind of leans over and somehow it becomes this massive um, drop here. I'm trying to squeeze through here. Look how it's just tipped over and it's just coming down to the ground. Like, look, look where the pot is, and this is the end of it here. Now, I will say that I have harvested one good zucchini, so overall. I mean, I'm getting this, and this is my very first time, so I don't have many pollinators here. I'm working on that. But look at this one. This one looks great. So it has grown quite quick, so you have to really um, check on them daily. Look at the second one that I have, that I did a much better job. There's only one. It's kind of struggling a little bit. I have to nutrients to it. We've also had a lot of rain so I'm not sure which one is the issue but this one has a better setup. So it's much smaller but you see how the main stem here is actually still within the support here however it should have been more centered so I should have adjusted this let's see and it's yeah it's pretty pretty difficult to do it now this one has given me quite a few more zucchinis to harvest and like there's one that's almost ready there and this changes between one to two days it changes drastically plant a little bit over as well as the tomato plant that I have and look it is massive and I've tried to see if I can um, guide it and have some support here but it's gonna be quite difficult to do that so I think I'm just gonna let it be and see what to just drop to the ground so I just measured the width of the zucchini plant and it's four feet wide so if you are going to have one zucchini plant, make sure you have at least four feet um, to dedicate just for the one plant because it is massive. It's, it's huge. It is, I would say, about the same, four, four by four in height as well. So you can see right here where the support is leaning. I'm not sure how long this is going to hold. I have to read more into the plant and see. Obviously, this is not doing any good <laughs> anymore. Um, but look, it is it is quite massive. It is, and it's falling. Overall, I mean, it was not a good setup. <sighs> but it's a great learning experience. So I did a better job with this one. It's uh, a smaller pot. 
which I, I do think it needs the large 20 gallon pot um, but this one will do as well it has provided for me we've had um, a harvest and see it is going through the support so that was a good thing um, I've got a zucchini there that's growing but this one has deficiencies going on it this just happened and I don't know if it's because I came in here and I trimmed it down and I damaged it but you can see the difference I mean look look how that one's heading up in the right direction and this one is just falling it still looks quite beautiful I mean I don't mind it at all but um, I have definitely learned <laughs> So that's it. I just wanted to show you some of the lessons learned um, as a new gardener. Maybe you can uh, benefit from it. If not, um, at least you get to see how my plants are doing. Um, I will show you that I'm super excited because I'm just going to have a cucumber harvest. Check out my cucumber. Look how gorgeous this is. I mean, in comparison to my hand, look at that. I'm so excited. A quick update as well. There's quite a few tomatoes in there that are coming up. And some jalapenos. If you can see them, they're right there. Quite a few. Some bell peppers, some Roma tomatoes. Those are coming up as well. Um, so I have a lot, a lot, a lot of things that are growing right now. I'm super excited. So until next time, thanks for watching.